Hi, welcome to a to z knowledge.com. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how to uh, start our hands-on pattern or programming language, a kickstart with respect to a hands-on. And you can find all our videos in my playlist and you, you can find the playlist link in the description box of this video. So in my previous video, I have given an introduction about R and I also uh, uploaded a separate video how to install R and its ID R Studio. And I have explained what is the difference between R and R Studio in the previous video. So I have already installed R, so I just close it. Okay, so I just open it for you, R Studio. It's like uh, an integrated development environment for developing our R programming. Okay, so we used to go with these R Studio in the real time also. So I've just opened my R Studio. So whenever you open, this is what the default. Okay, so sorry, this is not your default. I'll just open all these things. Yeah, yeah. So when you open, this is how it looks like. So you 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 can see a console by default. And you can see another two windows uh, on your right hand side which has history of all your commands what you have executed these are all the commands which i have executed uh, just just five minutes before and this is an environment like what all the global environment has been defined for your r and you can able to import some data sets if you want to import and you have to play with some data sets you can import it and down you can see the file that is the file this this is something like the directory where you are um our projects has been get stored by default it will be get stored in documents and also i will show you how to create a new project i will show you so it just displayed that particular uh, file area here like a workspace and then like you can see plots when you start doing something with the moron visualization you can able to see all those plots here and you can able to export it also and then packages what are all the default packages got installed in your r when you install it so what are all the packages comes along with it or even after installing or if you want to install some packages you can do that and then help so this is an help window so you can use help command also so you can see here so you can type like this or else you can use this help and you can type whatever the functions you want to learn about so it's something like not in internet you can they have their own documentation which comes with an r studio you can use it so viewer is something like again a plot so when you enter into more on visualization we can discuss on what is those stuff so so now for console is all about like you can use this so it's like a shell so you can see the great man symbol something like that it's a shell where you can just type something like this i'm i'm just doing one plus two three or i can give print um something so i can do like this so this is something in console, but the stuff is this is just to test a line of a piece of a code. But in a real time, in a production or development environment, I'm asking you to create a file, a script file, a project. So we want to hand over as a project that contains a lot of our script files, right? So we can see how to create a project in R Studio. So file, new project. So new directory, existing or version control. So version control is all about check in and check out of your code. So we are not configured that. Yet. so I will be doing that in a different different video if it is an existing directory you can use it so it's new directory right so give new directory it's an empty project or our package or shiny web application shiny web application is like or has its own libraries uh, for developing a web application which we call it as shiny so we can see this later and our package or empty project so even after creating a project you can go ahead with package so I'm just creating an empty project and you can give some name I'm just giving our it is that something like one okay so you can choose some directory where it has to get stored so by default it will be get stored under your my documents okay so i just if you want you can do it or you can leave it by default so i'm just creating a new project okay so this is how again you will be getting a same window and you can see the project here uh, now so you can able to create a script file by just going file new file so you can see our script just click it so it's like a notepad okay so it used to come like a notepad so what you can do is again you can you can just do something like this print statement okay so now you can click this run button so you can see the output in console okay so you you can complete all your r scripts here and you can hand over this file to me uh, in, in, the, in the next environment in your development or production so they can able to run this out so there was one more option that you can able to do. There was two things. One is script file. Another one is called as notebook. 
okay so when you click this notebook for the very first time something will get installed when i say something all the packages whatever is required to install this pack this notebook will be get installed but i have already installed it so i am not i can't able to show you that but for you so don't think that something is running it's it's just installing whatever things required for the notebook so when you see this is a notebook and if you see here so like you can see uh, when you create something like this r so we call it as chunk this part is we call it as a chunk so this part you can able to run so these parts are like you are writing some kind of a comments or a definition something like that so there is no very big difference between the script file and a notebook when it is a notebook you have to create a chunk like this okay so this is where like a start point and end point whatever r programs you have to type you have to type within this uh, chunk okay and you have to select this and you can run when you run it so what happen is you will get output immediately within the notebook even in console you will get but the thing is it's not like a not a text uh, script file when i when with respect to script file the output comes in a console only but notebook is not like that immediately it will come it won't go for a console so this is one example so just close it if you want to create your own chunk so what you can do just you can type like something like this uh, so you can type like sorry you can type like this and you can put r and you can create your own chunk which is also possible and shortcut you can see in control alt i when you give control alt i so you will get the chunk okay so even now within this you can print i will just show you so now you have to highlight this line then you have to click run run the selected line or run current chunk whatever whatever you want you can give so you will be getting an output like this so you can see there was a, not a big difference so when you go more into visualization maybe you can get into this notebook so other than that you can just simply go with the script file not in the notebook okay i will show you the console see whatever i typed in notebook uh, is uh, it's also coming in here right so it's not something like you have to always use notebook so when I, as i told you when you go more into visualization you can so in the next videos i will teach you how to get into the data types and variables and other upcoming uh, advanced topics and the next videos i will be uploading it so stay in touch with adusofknowledge.com if you really like this video please subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues and thanks for watching